channel if you're new here. Hello, my name is Amanda, and if you're not, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on today's video. It is day four of Vlogmas, but it's day two of the NYX Lippy Countdown series. I filmed the first video a little while ago, and since then I've kind of like switched things up how Vlogmas is gonna run. So if you guys don't follow me on my Instagram, you might not know, but for Vlogmas this year, instead of doing two videos, like two, like a vlog, and the next will be countdown video on the same day, every day. We are going to be alternating. I'm gonna be doing 12 or 13 NYX videos and then like 12 or 13 vlogs or sit down videos. So we're gonna be alternating days. So today is day four and we are going in and going to do like our first actual look with the products in the NYX advent calendar. This year is their Gimme Superstars. So this is all of their best selling products. And so I am just going to be creating some different looks with you guys using all of the products in this calendar and I'm so excited to take you guys along through it all. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I am going to do my face makeup off camera. I didn't show you guys the finishing powder in day two's video. So I am going to come back, show you guys that and let you guys know how it wears throughout the day at the end of this video. So I'll be right back with my face done. Okay, so we are back with my face done. I'm gonna go ahead in with day 15's HD finishing powder. And we are going to see how she works. I'm gonna be taking it on my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH07 brush. And I am just going to be applying this all over my face. I'm gonna start with the under eyes. Pull my mirror in a little bit closer so I can see how it's applying. I can't tell if it's like not even like coming on the brush or if it really just feels that light on the face. I literally look like a two year old like coloring on my face right now. No, it's definitely going on because my nose is just super shiny. No, it's not. So it's super lightweight, which I really appreciate. Yeah. Applied well. Doesn't look cakey, which is always nice. Perfect. So we'll see how that wears throughout the day. I'm gonna go and finish my face and then we will be right back to get into the full makeup look. Okay, we're back and the face makeup is complete. So we're gonna go ahead into the calendar and see which products we're working with today. Today we're gonna be using products number one and number five. I'm gonna go in, grab those out, see what we're working with. So the first product we have is the NYX Butter Gloss and this is in the color Praline. I really, really love NYX Butter Glosses. They are a bit sticky, uh, I'm not, typically a fan of really sticky products, but I do just really like, just like the products, I just really do. I've tried basically all of their different types of lip products, um, and I am just, in general, I am just a NYX lip product fan. I feel like they're really inexpensive and good for their pricing good quality for their pricing. The next product is their Soft Matte Lip Cream. I also really like these. I feel like these can tend to be a little bit drying, but most matte lipsticks are, but they're not too bad. This is their color Leon, and I did swatch all these products ahead of time so I could kind of combine products and make whole looks for you guys. I figured that was just better if you do get all of these products in the advent calendar then you'll be able to use them all together these are two really pretty like super kind of like nude mauvey colors so we're gonna be using them together i will show you guys how they look separately just so you do know if you want to you know like purchase one or the other so let's go ahead and we'll put these on and then we'll get into the eye look so i'm gonna go ahead and try the butter gloss first in praline I feel like this is a really, really pretty color for the fall and winter months. It's a little bit darker, but still sheer. I feel like this is like a good stepping stone product if you wanna try to get into maybe like darker lips, but 
you're not quite confident enough to do it yet, um, I feel like this is like the little like stepping stone in between. The name really describes it perfectly. They are super buttery on your lips. Like I said, they can be a little sticky because it is a gloss, but definitely not like the stickiest worst that I've ever tried. All right, I just wiped that off, and now we're gonna go ahead and try the Soft Matte Lip Cream in Leon. Okay, so this is the color Leon. Kinda looks a little bit ridiculous because I don't have a matching lip liner. I just wanna show you guys the products without any additional products, just so you know how they look when they're gonna come in the calendar for you. So, this is kind of like a mauve pink, rosy kind of color. Again, really great for the fall and winter times. The soft matte lip creams aren't as drying as other mattes because they do have still sort of like a buttery texture to them. So I do really, really like that about them. This is Leon by itself, and I'm gonna go ahead and put praline over top to see how that looks. I really like these colors together. I feel like they go really nicely together and it gives you that kind of deep look, that color for fall and winter, but still pretty neutral, so it's not super overpowering. So even though this lip isn't super overpowering, I still wanna do a pretty neutral light eye to match with it. So I'm primarily gonna be using my Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna try and do the whole look with one palette. You guys know I like to try and do that so you don't have to have a million different palettes to achieve the looks. So we're gonna start with this and try and keep it all in here. First, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Morphe Jaclyn Hill GH30 brush. This is just a really nice fluffy brush and I am going to start with a transition color. I'm actually gonna go in with my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer and kind of put that all over the lid. I kind of wanna keep it super, super light. So I am just taking this on this big fluffy brush and throwing it all over the lid and in the crease just to use this as my transition. I'm bringing this kind of up higher on my brow bone just because this eye tends to like not blend out properly. There's like one little spot that always messes with every look. I'm gonna go ahead and take another fluffy brush. This is my Sigma Tapered Blending E40. And I'm gonna start by going in with kind of like a little orangey tone. I'm gonna start with MFEO right here. Take that on this brush and keep it in the crease and blending it outwards. Next, I'm gonna be going into this orangey tone butter right here. I'm gonna take this on my JH37 brush, a little bit smaller, more compact brush, and I'm gonna be going over the same area that I just did with the last color, keeping it mostly like on my brow bone and in my crease, and kind of winging it out, but like, I guess kind of on the end. My eyebrows need to be done horrifically. I'm just gonna go in with the last brush that I just used and kind of blend it out so there's no harsh lines. See, like this side always blends fine and then this side is like I'm gonna take the first big fluffy brush I did and go in and blend again.
I'm gonna go back in with butter on that same brush and just kind of build it up again, that orangey tone, because I blended it out quite a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take a smaller brush. This is my Sigma Eye Shading E55, and I'm gonna take butter, and I am going to bring it underneath my lash line, all the way in. Now we're gonna do something really risky because I have not literally done makeup, like period. <laughs> I don't even remember. Maybe that last mix will be countdown. I'm gonna try and do a half cut crease where I feel like that was really bad. I don't really know what I'm doing, but you guys ask for this, okay? Just a reminder. Okay, that was way too much. taking my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear uh, More Than Concealer and kind of uh, attempting this. Okay. Hopefully the makeup looks will get better as we go on. It has been a minute. just like a lighter area on the lid, okay? Because that's not really working for me. brush that I already used. I'm just trying to like blend that together so it's not so harsh. I guess this one's doing it better so we're just gonna do that. It's just going swell. Okay, um, we're gonna try to do a little brown liner moment. Keyword, try. Okay, I'm taking this liner. I don't really know if I would recommend it. It's from Misguided. It's their Slick Flick Waterproof Gel Liner and it's in the shade Double Espresso. So, um, I'm just going to, I would like to remind you all, I'm not good at liner. So again, why am I trying to do this? I really could not tell you. This is horrifying. The camera's hot enough of looking at me, I understand. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try and like bring it into the inner corner, but I feel like that just ends up looking like dumb on me, but whatever, we're just gonna go with it. That 
looks so good. It looks like I've never done makeup once in my life. my brows maybe that will pull something together throw on mascara throw on lashes and we're gonna come back and just pray that I look like a different human okay we're back I feel like I look slightly like a different human definitely uh, still not the greatest ever but if you have more skill than me you might be able to make it better so I just threw on my allure luxe cashmere number eight lashes and these are like my go-to you guys will probably see this in every video for next I feel like they actually look a little bit different than they usually do this time I feel like this lash is like actually not the same type of lash but it's whatever zoom in give you guys a close-up of the look Okay, we're out of the camera, I apologize, but I wanted to do a little check-in. I've touched up my face makeup a little bit throughout the day, just like around my mouth when I like eat and stuff, it tends to wipe off. I also just realized I never did setting spray today, so the fact that it's held up this well, honestly, is not bad. The powder was definitely fine. I think I'm coming to the conclusion that I don't love the pore primer, so. I am going to try my regular primer with this setting powder for the next video and see if I like it better. Cause I feel like it's just not like priming my face that well. So we'll see, but that's the check-in for today. That is going to be it for today's NYX Lippy Countdown and day four of Vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, like I said, we will, get a little bit better makeup as the videos go on because I have just not done makeup in so long. So this is why I like find something I like and I stick to it and then I don't switch from it because this tends to happen. So every time I try to do something like more than I'm used to, I regret it. So we just stick to what we know. If there are certain looks you guys would like to see from me, be sure to comment them down below. You can also tag pictures on Instagram, send me pictures on Instagram or on Poshmark, on Poshmark, no, on Pinterest. And I would love to try and recreate them for you guys using the products that are in the calendar. So let me know. I love you guys endlessly. Thank you so much for watching. And until tomorrow, stay blessed and don't forget to live lovely. Bye.